everyone, we're Meeple Talk. I'm Adam. And I'm Stephanie. And this week we are going to be reviewing some of our feature games that we saw at Gen Con. It's well, over. we're not actually going to review all these games. No, no, no. That would be a very long video. <laughs> yes. But just giving a sampling of some of the things that we saw. So mm -hmm. for those who have not been to Gen Con, it's humongous. Uh, so, so yes. many game producers and publishers there. Mm -hmm. uh, all kinds of booths for, for clothing, for uh, figs, for, for books. Every, like, everything you could ever want related yes. to gaming was there. Yeah, but mostly games. <laughs> there yes. were a lot of yes, games. Yes, exactly, wow. exactly. Yeah. So, we saw a whole lot uh, that mm -hmm. we want to feature in upcoming videos. So, here is uh, a collection of some of the games that we brought home, and we're going to share mm -hmm. them with you today for some upcoming reviews. Yes, because we're definitely going to review probably every single one of these games and then there was a lot of other games that we saw that we didn't bring home but we'll tell you about those in a later video mm -hmm. so let's so first start thing, with this one let's start okay. with klondike rush yes. so uh red raven games you mm -hmm. may have some seen some of our uh, other reviews of above and below as well mm -hmm. as um, islebound, islebound. Mm -hmm. exactly so this is one of the newer editions klondike rush so the theme is a little bit different from this one instead of the warm waters and, mm -hmm. and uh dark cold ground we've got well yes. the the frozen tundra. Mm -hmm. uh, so what's happened is that uh, we are um, trying to invest in various mining companies. They're going to be searching for gold and so you're going to be plotting uh, your mines along the map and then uh, everyone has a chance to invest in certain mining companies that eventually you'll get rewards, certain dividends coming back but at the same time you're going to be hunting. Mm -hmm. uh, the, hmm. oh, they the didn't Yeti? officially call him that. They yes. gave him a different name. Well, I mean, Harry. We don't have to worry about, you know, copyright issues or whatever. I don't <laughs> so, know how Yeti is copyrighted. But... I don't know. But his name was Harry, so we're going to say we're going to They have call him Harry. Harry. Yes, yeah. he's a big blue guy. You can check it out yeah. online and mm -hmm. uh, you'll see. We might even throw a photo in there. You may have already seen it on this video. But anyway. Yeah. But um, that was uh... So this game, I just want to say before we pass on mm -hmm. to the other ones, this game is very different from the other um, games by Ryan Lawcat um, mm -hmm. in, in that this is a very... Uh, uh, simple, uh, quick to play. It's very much a board game, board mm -hmm. game, in, in the sense that you have a board and you play it and then it's in a half hour is over. So it's very different from his other games mm -hmm. like Islebound and like Above and Below and so on. So don't expect the same time of game, but it's, it's very interesting. It also has a more mature yes. feel and look to it, especially when it comes to the theming and the styling mm -hmm, and artwork mm -hmm, as mm -hmm. well. So if you ever thought the other, some of the other games were more family oriented, this will be just a bit of a step away from that, but still just as fun to play yeah. in the demos that we saw. So an auction game. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, what else Then the other one, uh, uh, well, I was going to lift it right up here. So I'm we've got Codenames Duets. So again, Codenames is another ah, yes. uh, game that has been having different versions out there with different flavors and whatnot. So this one's a duet game. And why this is different from previous versions of Codenames is that you can actually do this as a two player. Uh, so if you're doing it as a two player, you're both agents who need to communicate with each other about who other mm -hmm. agents are in the field. And so each half of you have a certain list, a short list of <laughs> names that you need to get the other people to reveal at the same time, again, avoiding the assassins that are coming mm -hmm. up uh, against you. So this is a slight modification from other uh, code names. So again, we are excited to play this one. Yes. Uh, I'm so, yeah. curious to find out because it says, it says two plus. So that means two you can plus. still so, yeah, play you can this still with... do the two sides. So whether you're playing this is a mm -hmm. three player or the regular game is a three player what's the difference i'm very curious to find out exactly so we shall see yes. we'll report back soon oh and, gotta... and by the way there mm -hmm. were two other versions as well of code yes. names um, not released yet that, yes uh code names disney family edition mm -hmm. and code names marvel in which they have all the marvel characters and the disney characters for the disney game mm -hmm. more of a family for for little kids and so on so yeah. um that's out there. You may want to check it out. Not yet. It's to be released in the fall. Right. It, so look for it in the future. It's out there on the internet <laughs> to be viewed by you. Yes. <laughs> but not played. So coming yes. up soon. <laughs> Okay, what else we got here? Sure, okay, now, also Blue for Orange packaging. Games. Yes, Blue Orange Games had mm -hmm. the hotness there at uh, Gen Con. They had this game and also another game, which we'll mention mm -hmm. in the next video. But this is King Domino. You may have already heard about it from last year. Mm -hmm. um, we actually played a demo of it. It's very quick to play. You can mm -hmm. learn it in like two minutes. Uh, ingenious, um, very much like Domino's, mm -hmm. and, except you're creating a kingdom and uh, trying to score as many uh, crowns as you can. Mm -hmm. um, we really like this game, but again, we're not reviewing it. We're going to play it a few more times and then give you a review very, very soon. Um, but this is a nice little game for all mm -hmm. ages. 
It's tile placing, sort of like uh, Carcassonne means dominoes, mm -hmm. uh, so you can get it, uh, an idea that was just from very, that. That very good description, mm. yes. Ah, okay. And without the hexes. <laughs> I am efficient. <laughs> <laughs> then we've done. got Menu Master. So, completely different flavor of games. So this one is, uh, that's the one thing we noticed about Gen Con. People were venturing out when it comes mm -hmm. to the styles and themes of what they're going to experiment with the flavor of their game. So this one's called Menu Master. So you're all chefs uh, competing to create the best menu with the highest quality ingredients. Uh, and so not only do you have this auction for the market for the ingredients you're going to buy, you also have the opportunity to own the shop. So that way it gives a balance of how the currency is exchanged and how you earn money and also collect mm -hmm. for the bid process. So uh, really interesting game. It's a card based one, so it's not uh, fully board, but uh, it's again, it looks like a nice family game, quick to play from Calliope and uh, the publisher, or sorry, that was the publisher, I, the designer. Yeah. Let's see here. Yeah, the publisher's Calliope. Remember yes, Calliope? Zach and Jordan Wiseman. So they're oh, the ones yes. who designed this one. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So that's going to yeah. be exciting. We played a demo of this at mm -hmm. Gen Con, and uh, we liked what we saw. So this is definitely another Pretty much everything we're, we're showing yes. you, we saw a demo <laughs> of. So. Not necessarily. Okay, not necessarily. Right. But anyway. Fine. Be particular. <laughs> like, we didn't, we didn't demo that one, for example. You, you just bought that. Anyway, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> anyway, so uh, the next one here mm -hmm. is by... By Quind, is this no? This is Quind uh, games. yeah, Quind Games. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, they're from the Netherlands. Uh, so this is a really cute little game um, about the sea, and so there's various mm -hmm. islands, and uh, there's an auction for various uh, fish and different things that you can get from the islands. You can sell them uh, to different player, to other players, or to a, a tourist, and so on. Mm -hmm. um, we got a description of the game. I wouldn't say we actually... Did we play a little bit of it or not? I don't remember. Yeah, we saw a setup of it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I, th I think this is a charming little game, and I can't wait to play it and Essentially, review it, you're so. developing your islands to attract the tourist dollars. Uh, yes, so to buy fish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. Go Keep going. I'm very good at what I do. What can I say? Uh, then, when we come to a local homegrown ah. fair, so those who don't have never known or, or don't... Or, forgot uh so we are based up here in canada so now we were seeing excited to see one of our uh, french canadian partners here uh back home uh maxime tardif uh he created the game brilliance and the way uh this one works oh publisher uh, sphere games so the way this one works is that you're different ant colonies. You're trying to get your food and resources to essentially survive the winter. Not only are you going to be, uh, your success is not only going to be based on the resources that you get, but also as colonies, they want to expand and explore and try to dominate the territories and have the most influence on it. Um, it's a really dense game. Oh my goodness. This thing was yeah. what? Five pounds, I guess they estimated. Huge, heavy. So lots and lots of components. Um, yeah, yes. so I want to mention that all the ants are actually little figs, and they have a yes. day and a night version. So mm -hmm. ants that are in their night mode can't do certain things, or can do certain things yep. during the night. And uh, so that's really cool. That probably adds to a lot of and, weight to the game. But yep. if you like figs, that's uh, pretty awesome. And this is version one of the game. So it is the larger version with more players and mm -hmm. uh, more components. They are going to come up with a, a slightly simplified version in future editions as well. So depending on what you see out there, if you want the full version of the simplified version, we're curious to see how those to play out uh, but yes, come check that yes. out as well yeah I'm very excited about the mm -hmm. idea of getting a really small faster playing like we haven't even played this one so I don't know how much faster that one but yes <laughs> <laughs> all of these games are yet to be checked out so uh, here's another game um, that we saw and it is by I have forgotten the publisher uh, Mayday Games yes Ooh. okay well known name in the gaming community uh, Five Seals of Magic so mm -hmm. yeah so we played a demo of this one um, there's a circular map and you need to unlock all uh, certain seals in order mm -hmm. to get to certain spells and then the spells you can then use uh, as, as to your advantage further on in the game and it's apparently got different modes it's got the default basic mode where um, there's nothing you know that you can do to another player so uh, basically it's a family version mm -hmm. um, and then they have some advanced spells where you can do a lot of different things to other players yeah. so I love the fact that it has these different levels of game that you can play. It's just customizability. On, just based on the spells mm -hmm. you can put out. So I'm looking really forward to uh, testing this one as well. It looks like a very original, you know, game. Uh, I haven't seen anything like this before. So uh, 
that's uh, going to be out soon. Okay, sure. Is, do we have anything else? No, that pretty much wraps up that, for our sampling mm -hmm. there. So come check mm -hmm. out our future videos. We're going to have each one of these featured. Uh, yes. And we like to tell you what uh, we think when that happens. So. Yeah, so uh, uh, I thought I'd bring the rest out. But That's okay. It's <laughs> too much effort. <laughs> so, so, yeah, look for those games in our future videos. Mm -hmm. And we'll Very see you Very exciting. Soon. See you later. Bye.